Following his razor-thin win two years ago in the most expensive house race in the nation, Ami Barra called for campaign finance reform. I think our elections would be better served if he got rid of all this outside money. Today, outside federal court, Barra's former opponent, Doug Osi, was the first to react to Barra's father's admission that he collected illegal campaign contributions for his son. I think there are significant questions that remain unanswered. Like what? What's the biggest question in your mind? How, how far from the tree does the seed fall? However, people we spoke to today in Elk Grove said they're willing to consider Barra's explanation, that he knew nothing about what his father was up to. I'm going to be on the side of, of Ami Barra, that he didn't, he probably didn't know anything about it. No, I wouldn't hold it against him. I really wouldn't. Barra's current opponent, Sacramento County Sheriff Scott Jones, released a statement saying simply, we need to allow the investigation in the justice system to discover all the facts and reach their conclusions. But the National Republican Congressional Committee, which has again targeted Barra's seat, now has fresh ammunition. It's unclear what extent this will play in the campaign uh, come this fall, uh, but I think it's safe to say that voters will be very interested to find out exactly what's been going on. Barra has already been having trouble holding on to his Democratic base for supporting fast-tracking of the Trans-Pacific Trade Partnership and for voting for increased security screenings of Syrian refugees trying to come to the U.S. The stakes are higher this year because the House could be in play, absolutely right. And so uh, what happens with Barra's seat really does have potential national implications.